Believe it or not, Photoshop actually has some pretty useful measurement tools, which I think are underappreciated. One of these tools is the count tool, which is especially useful if you're doing things like counting cells. So to get to the count tool, uh, we can click and hold the eyedropper tool and select count tool. And then you just click whatever it is you want to count. And so I'll catch a few of these cells here. And if you're happy with that selection and you want to save it for analysis later, what we do is go up to Window and choose Measurement Log. And then we'll click on this little hamburger menu and say Select Data Points and choose Custom. And we just want to make sure that Count is selected, which it is. So I'll say OK and hit Record Measurements. And you can see now that we have this count of seven. Now you can actually go and create a, well, first of all, I'm going to hide this count. And I'm going to create a new count group with this button here. And I'll just call it, call it Count Group 2. We can go ahead and change the uh, marker color just for a little variety and count uh, maybe a few other cells. And again, we can go ahead and hit record measurements. And now we can look at both counts together and see the total count, which if we hit record measurements again, we'll see we have a total of 11.